Interest in Mexico's natural gas has increased substantially over the last five years due to the price increase of other traditional hydrocarbon fuels. As a result, methods of delivery have also increased. With me now is Fernando Calbijo and Manuel Calbijo from Firmica, an established company in the country's energy and construction sector. Well, Fernando, if I might start with you, Firmica, of course, leads the way in terms of the transportation of natural gas. But why is this infrastructure so important for Mexico? Today, if you see Mexico, it's a population growing. We have 115 million people and we have more than 4,000 kilometers of border with the most important consumer in the world, which is the U.S. And obviously, the commercial relationship between our two countries, it's extremely important. And that way, we need, obviously, of energy in order to be competitive. So building infrastructure today and having access to the cheapest gas in the world, which is in the United States, help us in order that we can be extremely competitive. And if you see Mexico today, the population who runs the country is between 18 and 40 years. So we have an economy that is growing. And having the, the infrastructure behind the industrialization of the country, the name of the game obviously is build infrastructure. And mostly pipelines, which natural gas today is the cheapest fuel on earth. You provide transportation to one of the key urban industrial areas in central Mexico and you're also building a pipeline in the north with interconnection to the United States. What's the significance of this for the Mexican oil and gas sector? One of the things is that we provide to the second largest industrial market, which is uh, the city of Toluca, state of Mexico. And uh, that project uh, was in operation since 13 years ago. It was our first natural gas project as an operators and owners. The second project that we had, that actually we have now in, in operations, which is the called Taromara Pipeline, can move up to 20% of the consumption of the gas of the country. So this asset is extremely important because in the north part of Mexico, there's an important hub of production of uh, electricity which we will be able to supply. And we have the flexibility to go and interconnect our system with very liquid hopes of natural gas with very cheap price. So as we are an independent pipeline company, we can be importers of gas and we can take advantage of bringing that competitive fuel to Mexico. Well, what sort of challenges did you have to overcome for this project? Putting together the financing, we did in-house all the financing. We had to lead with seven banks and it was the uh, first pipeline project to be financed by, by, by this type after the Lehman Brothers crisis. So it was a challenge to uh, the acquisition of the rights of way, the logistics of the project, and obviously due to the security that we have a problem security in the border of Mexico uh, to take care of our people. So I think those were the four challenges that we faced. But even though that happened, we had zero accidents, zero incidents, and the pipeline was in service one day before that it was requested by our clients. Well, Manuel, Firmica guarantees an uninterrupted supply of natural gas. How do you ensure this? You know that it's uh, on, our, on our service. Uh, the pipeline is, has a reliability of 99.97%. So actually, how we do it is that we run a state-of-the-art operation. We have our automatization system, which is called SCADA system. Uh, basically, uh, we are the only pipeline company, I would say within Mexico, that we have our own satellite signal, so we don't rent from a third party. So we ensure that by having 24-7, 365, uh, operators in Mexico, which they are in front of computers all the time. Uh, we run this system live, so we can know parameters like pressure, uh, temperature, humidity of the gas in real time. And by doing that, we can ensure 100% of reliability on our systems. Well, Fernando, of course there is rising demand for oil and power in the region. So how do you manage things like prices and shortages? Unfortunately, uh, the production of oil and gas in Mexico has been declining because our main sources of production, obviously, they're going down. I think our current president, President Peña Nieto, has been extremely smart and he built bridges in order to have to pass the energy reform. With today, uh, that's 
quite uh, the name of the game because Mexico was very close to private investment on the production of oil and gas. Right now, uh, the government is working on the secondary laws in order to see how this is going to work. But in the case of natural gas, I think we will be very eager to build infrastructure around the U.S. so we can have access precisely to gas and make our corridor an important utility for the production of electricity, as my brother said, and as well what we want is to develop a set of industries all around so we can make an important industrial hub around these 400 kilometers of pipe that we have. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.